Well, Fawaz Al Hazawi, always a, an absolute pleasure to speak to you here on Forest Player HD. The season coming to an end. How do you reflect on what you've seen on the pitch this year? Uh, first of all, I would like to thank everybody. Regarding this season, uh, it was tough a bit for us. Uh, we didn't uh, did well like usual. Um, I didn't expect that to be happen this season. We will uh, we have uh, the embargoes really affecting us and uh, the injuries. Uh, we we weren't that stable, and I, I think that because of the embargo, it's uh, we cannot. Uh, did well this season but I hope maybe uh, when this season is going to be end of course there is one game to go and the embargo will be left next season will be much better than this season I'm trying my best to to be to, to do something for next season um, uh, as you said, uh, I, I didn't expect that, that that result this season because uh, I thought that would would be much better than this. Because what what happened, it happened. But uh, the most important thing that we are still in the championship. As you mentioned, there is one game still to play this season. Away at Milton Keynes Dons, more than four thousand. Forest fans go into that game. They have stuck by the club through thick and thin this season, haven't they? Yeah, I mean, our fans, they are amazing. They love the club. They always support. I really thank them for what they are. They did a lot, you know, to be honest. They help the club a lot. I count them number one always. And I am, uh, they always keep the faith for the club. And I'm really happy to be surrounded by Forest Fan and uh, I'm really happy that I am part of them and uh, for example this season maybe I miss three or four games especially the last two games because I was away I wasn't here uh, but I always watch and uh, follow the club and I am really happy when I am around or when I am in England of course I never ever miss one game and I don't blame them to be honest if they follow or if they go everywhere for Nottingham because uh, they are part from the club and uh, and uh, we need them. We need them to be around us always. How grateful are you to, to Paul Williams and other members of staff who have stepped up to uh, manage the first team in the absence of a, a permanent manager? Well, I would like to thank Paul for what he did and uh, what he's trying to do. Uh, he maybe he didn't have... Uh, uh, maybe a good result, but he's trying his best, and uh, and uh, the team. I think uh, they are trying to do better with Paul or with uh, any manager around. But uh, in the end, you know, the fans and everybody want the uh, the result, and this is the most important thing. But I would like to thank him for what he did. At, he tried his best, and that's what he have. You know, this is this is it, and he try. He tried to push as much as he can and try to do as as much as he can for, 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 for the club. I'm sure you're working very hard to find our next manager. Um, have you got any updates on that for us? Uh, of course I have. I have lots of list of managers. At the moment there is one game to go. I don't want to, to, be, to rush on that. I would like to take my time because uh, this is a very sensitive position and we need the right manager for the club. Today we, I had a chat with John McGovern. We were speaking about this and about a uh, new manager. And I was sharing with him some names and uh, we are looking for the right manager for the club. It's not that easy come tomorrow and put any manager. We would like to put the right manager. There is maybe one month now till the pre-season start. We still have time. Maybe, uh, maybe I can put any manager right now, but I, I don't think it's going to be helpful. The most important thing to choose the right manager, and now we have time. We are not in a rush. Do you have a particular idea of what sort of manager you want in terms of the experience, the nationality, anything like that? Well, there is actually. English managers and there is foreign managers there is from everywhere 
in the list. We are looking for the right one. This is the most important thing. We need uh, the manager who's at least has a good CV, a proven manager. He did something before. I mean, he can help Forest for anything, you know. So uh, that's what we need for next season. We don't want to bring anybody like uh, any manager. You know, there is lots of manager ma managers around, but we would like to, to pick the right one. And we want to look for the right CV for the club. That's what we are looking for. Another appointment I know you're very keen to make is that of a, of a chief executive. Have you got any news on the progress of that appointment? We want to bring the right CEO also. We have some names around. We want to, we want to pick the right one also. I'm waiting for the manager. I mentioned this in my Twitter before and also CEO for next season and uh, and uh, so we can work together maybe also director of football also for next season too. What sort of responsibilities would you be looking for a chief executive to to take on? What sort of role would they have to play here under your ownership? Well you know the chief executive he runs everything most of the club you know and he is going to, to look after the club he will look after because for me uh, maybe I will not be uh, 24 hours on daily basis here so you need somebody to, to run the club you know you need somebody to uh, to go for example even for a sponsor to talk with other people to to, to go to the FA to speak with other you know the other club you know you need somebody to work on your behalf and he's you need somebody to be professional somebody who ha who have the knowledge for this uh, we don't want to bring uh, somebody who learn under we need somebody also that he he have a good CV also and he worked in this role before and uh, there is some CEO I am reading on right now and I'm checking maybe I'm going to meet also maybe two or three people maybe next week uh, and then we will see we will see how, how it goes for, for, for the next season. Let's talk about Twitter, because obviously you're very active on your own Twitter account. Yes. However, there are also some other people who speak as if they have a knowledge of what's going on at the club and, and fans can read into that perhaps more than they should. What, what's your response to that? Well, you know, some people, they speak on my behalf, even from my country. Uh, I cannot stop everybody, you know, from what they're saying. But um, in the end, uh, I would like our fan to take anything maybe from me or from the people in the club and to do not listen to anybody from outside with all respect for them. Because they might talk about something they don't know. And then they will, the fan will, will, will think that there is something wrong and they will think that uh, what's wrong with the club and what's going on and this and I don't blame them then you know because they think that he's my friend or he's my brother or he's whatever okay or one of my relative or and this is not right you know to be honest uh, uh, if there anything ha I said it okay I take full responsibility and or in the club they said it they take full, full responsibility I always have a contact with the uh, with my fans also we talk with on Twitter or something like this we talk about it even if for example wanted to bring a new player I mention it on Twitter if I sign a new manager we mention it on Twitter and there is some rumors or there is some people talking from outside or newspaper with all respect for everybody they are talking about something maybe it's wrong so if it's come from my mouth or some this is the after I will take full responsibility about it Based on what you've said to me today, it sounds like you're going to have a very busy summer ahead of you. I'm trying my best, but you know, when you when you are facing injury, embargo, many things against you, this, I, I, do, I, I agree with the fans. Sometimes, uh, maybe uh, they complain on this. I agree with them 100%. You know, because this is for them. The, the club mean a lot for them. And they want for us to be in the the right place. I agree with them 100%. And I am even if I am in their position, I will do the same thing, you know. And I will to, to push as much as I can. But we are trying our best, you know. And I think uh, uh, I think it's not that easy to do it quickly like this. It needs time. Um, uh, I was talking today with John McGovern. I said people expect from me that to get the manager 
now to get the CEO now. It's not it's not like this. It's not like this. Even the players, it needs time. It's in time. It's need. We don't want to rush. We don't want to rush. This is the most important thing. Many people wanted to take the job. Many people are want to be the manager for for Nottingham Forest. This is something. This is a massive club. I mean, everybody wanted to be part of it, and uh, everybody want to be in Forest. But uh, we want to to be patient. That's all. And uh, I promise the fan. I hope. I cannot do it. I hope they will be happy next season. And uh, I, I, I'm going to push as much as, my, as I can from my side. And then in the end, it will be on the manager and, and also on the CEO and the people and the player and the staff. This is, will be their responsibility later on. But now we will pick the right one and then we leave them for the next season. Many supporters have already renewed their season tickets for the next campaign. Are you confident that it will be an exciting, successful season for them to watch? I promise them that we will get them what they want, but in the right time. That's what I can tell them. But uh, I, what I expect for next season, I am always positive. And I hope that next season they will be happy. I don't want to promise anything, but we will try our best. For us, there have been some rumours circulating in various sources in the press, on Twitter, that you are considering selling the club. What's your stance on that? Well, because I've said it before when one of the meeting and I mentioned that if uh, the right people will come pay the right money, but it doesn't mean like this. I mean, I meant uh, the club is not for sale. I didn't sell the club yet and I'm still involved. And maybe in the future there is an investor will, will attend or this. It's normal, but I will be. I want to be part of it, and I want to be with Forest. I don't want to leave Forest till 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 the right time. I hope, I hope uh, that we go promoted, and I am going to be the chairman. This is my one of my dream, and I don't want to lose that. And but maybe uh, there is some investor will come. This is uh, will help me, of course, and. Uh, they all maybe will be there. We will be. We will work harder even for the club, and it will be good for the club in the end. If uh, some the right investor came to the club and they invest money in the club, and it will be good for us, you know. And I will not put my club to anybody. I want to check and to do full due diligence who is going to be the investor is and who is the people who I'm going to work with. This is the most important thing because you need helpful people with you. You need people to care about the club, how we care about it. This is very important. In the end, I would like to say, for example, to thank everybody, to thank the fans, thank the staff, the manager, everybody who's around us this season. Maybe it wasn't that good season for us, but in the end, I would like to thank them and say we worked as much as we can, but this is it. This is football, one day up, one day down. But in the end, we will try our best and uh, we will try to see what will happen next season.